hello hi so this video is about removing green screen from a video in resolve without using the studio version or the fusion page we'll do it all in the color page and the second half of the video will be about how to export same video as an alpha video with or a transparent background video like a png image in photoshop so this is a clip of Virat Kohli from a project I worked on earlier with pretty clean green screen and let's go into the color page first. So in case you have the studio version of Resolve, there's a very convenient option over here 3D Care but I'll show it without using the 3D Care for anyone using the Resolve even if you don't have a studio version. I'll make few extra notes, we'll use them later on, you'll see how. So this video is shot in log or a flat picture profile. To get better key results with a log video, you should always make them more contrasty or more closer to Rec 709 look before we continue with the green screen removal. So in the very first node, I have made a S curve. You can see the shape of the curve which pushes the highlights upwards and shadows downwards being very smooth throughout. And now I go on to the last node and I select HSL qualifier. So I have left the middle, middle node empty for now. We'll use it later on. On the last node, I'll go and click on a green area, on the green area. So now I've made selection of all the green area, but it's a very level one selection. I've turned it black and white and now we can clearly see it. Now there are a lot of HSL range properties available here for us. Our aim is to go as wide as possible, have as bigger of the range as possible without selecting Virat Kohli himself. So we get a very clean selection of the background but we don't overflow that selection into the subject. So I'm going as wide as possible and making the selection brackets as smooth as possible so i am increasing the width of the selection bracket and making the roll off smoother so once i turn on black and white this seems a very good selection and now comes the second part of this what our hsl qualifier has done has made selection of the background and not the subject so i have inverted the selection now a subject which is Virat Kohli is selected and the background is transparent but still the edges are not very clean I can see a line of green passing through his edges so we'll have to do something so that works out better than how it is right now so you might have seen these little blue and green connectors at the end of every node but how we use only green connectors for most of our part and not blue connectors so blue connectors are the alpha node basically you take the transparency or the selection properties of that node and green connectors are for the color correction that we do so i have added an alpha output by right clicking in the empty space and i am using the selection we made as the alpha output of our main thing but i am using the color properties of the first one So before I tell you what we are doing on this node 3 to refine our color, I'll go back to our node 4 which is the alpha output and now we'll refine our mask. Earlier we refined it using the HSL brackets, now we are doing it with the properties available on the right. So I'll increase the pre-filter, I'll increase clean black, clean white so there's no smaller dirts of white and black pixels over here dancing and then I'll add some blur, a little blur and after adding blur I'll move the edge inwards so right now I can see 3 to 4 pixel of layer all around him of a green outline of sorts so I'll move the edge, the line inwards so we cut off all that green outline now it's gone from all over the clothes, it's just a little bit on his hair Once we play around with these properties for a while, for like 5-10 minutes, you'll get the cleanest spot you could reach at. 
i am adding a little bit of morph radius i am also not myself very confident what these things do i am just trying them out and then just locking myself onto the number that works best for our picture of for our visual and post filter is eventually edge detection sort of thing towards the end of it after we have done with everything and i can still see a little bit of green so i'll go back to first and then reduce the blur this is making sharper but bringing back the green so i'll uh, move the edge more inwards yeah that works out better and i think it's pretty good for now yeah now i'll go to the node 3 again so node 3 has this image as input it hasn't keyed out the background yet i'm using same input for both 3 and 4 so it's not a parallel node it's a series node and now i'll go to hue as a saturation select this green background and then reduce the saturation as much as possible this won't help much but i'll still do it it'll help a bit it'll help avoid the green spills and the highly saturated green areas around her hair especially because those are the trickiest area to make selection of after that I can my background is gonna be brighter than what it is right now so I can make the green brighter it'll help a little uh, bit but let's do it anyways and primary wheels I'm removing the green tint from overall image in general because when we shoot in a green screen studio all the walls are green and then they bounce back green light on the subject so we'll simply push the green away from the subject and push the tent wheel to magenta to avoid the green spill and some final refinements better better Okay, now just to do a check, I'll go and pull a random background under it. Yes, I think. And this looks very neat. It looks very clean for me. I can't see any green spill on his hair, on his ear, anywhere around his edges. And it looks, it looks workable. It looks good okay so now coming to how to export it in alpha i'll go to the export page format i'll set it to quicktime codec i'll set it to gopro cineform type i'll set it to rgb 16 bit and it's selected as individual clip under the render type the moment i do this i'll get this option export alpha i'll enable it leave everything as default just name my file and hit the export button it's done just to check i'll get that file back into resolve and the moment i place it it's a keyed video it's an alpha video how else would you expect it to work thank god it worked i hope you find this useful or we could chayo to bhai ko instagram pe message kar dena Nietzsche, I'm putting down my Instagram handle and that's it. Stay tuned for more uh, chips related cricket videos without background to be specific. Ta-da!